Researchers from Cornell did put mice in tiny VR goggles. While it's adorable, it does have some practical and somewhat dystopian implications. Let's talk about it. One of the big limitations in research with animals is that you have them in a very artificial environment. It's very difficult to actually monitor behaviors that they would have in the wild and separate out the stress of being in the lab from stress that could be caused by the experiment. Some research has been done using screens and allowing mice and rats to run on a treadmill, but no one quite figured out how to make tiny VR goggles. For some animals, like cows, you can just strap on human VR goggles and let them have fun. It is slightly disturbing that farm animals benefit from virtual reality. Cows produce more milk when they're happy. Now, just to be fully honest with you, this was done for cows during a harsh winter. It does work, and I could see it being done for other animals. For the love of God, just let our chickens run on a treadmill and just see a projected screen. Chickens are treated terribly. Now, the tiny VR goggles are a massive leap forward, but there's been other pretty cool research done in this area. Like hooking up electrodes to a rat's brain and letting them run on a treadmill with a projected screen and letting them control the environment. This is how we figured out that rats memorize 3D imagery of mazes in their heads. They could teleport and pick up objects with their mind. Yes, this will be coming to us, probably not that far in the future. When it comes to virtual reality, there is a lot of benefits, but we haven't really studied all the drawbacks. It's been used as enrichment for astronauts on the ISS. It's kind of similar to being a lab animal, to be honest. You're trapped. This is particularly pertinent because we are kind of leaving astronauts up there for 10 months, maybe more. It was only supposed to be an eight-day trip. You yourself can use VR goggles to go to Antarctica or the ISS. Incidentally, they use the very same goggles to come visit us. Aside from things like vertigo and headaches, there's the possibility that people could become obsessed with it. We already know from the early 2000s that people would become obsessed with online games. They would abandon their everyday lives and their jobs and just play. The new technology that we have is much more immersive. Imagine virtual reality that has sensations like touch, smell, and taste. And yes, people are already making generative AI copies of celebrities or people they might have a crush on. Unfortunately, they've made them of children. This is very unhealthy and to some degree downright deranged. It has been being used to do things like train surgeons, and that's probably a great way to do it, especially for jobs that are dangerous. It could give them some practice in real scenarios. But this headline should chill you to the core. Here's how AI and virtual reality can help companies boost engagement and productivity. Dear God, I imagine this will lead to keeping humans in terrible conditions, kind of like the cows, and trying to enrich them. Hey, at least you can walk on a treadmill in the afternoon before you go back to your pod. It's a mixed bag like many things, and there's always going to be abuse of technology. There always has been. I am someone who loves video games. I grew up playing MMOs. I dreamed of a sword art online style game, and that is going to come, I promise. There's always going to need to be a balance, and there's always going to be those that don't have it. Internal structures. Are you carrying out a... <laughs> than the tiny prokaryotes swarming in the culture? <laughs>